And uh, you and Latavius uh, got to kind of share the field for a bunch of snaps in the last game. Um, I'm just curious, like, uh, when, when you're doing that, um, what, what kind of stress does, does that put on the defense in your mind? Uh, I mean, when we're, on the, when we're on the field individually, they still, they're stressed. And I think just putting us on the field at the same time, uh, there's a lot that you got to account for. Um, it's, you got to account for more than you are able to account for within the frame of defense. So, you know, um, I think it's something that I think helps us, uh, gives us a lot of variety, gives us a lot of different options. Um, so, you know, more of that, hopefully. And a lot of times when you're doing that, you're, you're like operating out of the slot or, or something like that. Do you, do you, are you comfortable doing that? And uh, like, did it take some time for you to be comfortable doing that? Uh, no, nah, I'm comfortable doing it. I'm, I, I've been doing it for a while, so <laughs> it's cool. Um, I don't got no problem. Next question is from Brent Martel. Hey, Alvin, question here about Drew and kind of his career in New Orleans. I know you were fairly young, but how much do you remember of his career before he got to New Orleans? Were you familiar with him as a Purdue guy or a Chargers guy? Uh, I, I wouldn't say Purdue. I'm, shoot, I don't know how old I was when he was at Purdue, but... Uh, Chargers a little bit, but Saints, that's the, I mean, I, everybody knows Drew Brees for the Saints. Um, I mean, watching them was amazing, but playing with them, like, you see why. You see why he's as decorated and as, as, as you know, talked about as he is. He, he's the real deal. When you see um, all that he has been able to accomplish in New Orleans, is it kind of hard to believe that he was let go by another team, or is that just, uh, or is that understandable on a certain professional level? I mean, it's business, but I, that, that's not a business choice I would have made. <laughs> I don't see how you do that, but I think, um, I don't know, I don't want to speak for Drew, but I feel like, you know, if you ask him, he, he, he would be fine with, with what happened. I think, I don't think he would change anything. And that's just me speaking. I don't know, you might have to ask Drew. Right, and you can, I'm sure, see that it may have been good for him and that he has a certain special synergy you might have recognized with the coach. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, him and Sean, I mean, that's talked about all the time. I don't really got to get too deep into that, but that was like a match made in heaven. Yeah. I mean, I'm happy it happened how it, how it happened because, shoot, who knows who I would have been playing with. I'm happy I'm playing with Drew Brees, you know. I mean, not to, not to knock anybody else, but I'm happy it happened like this. Next question is from Amos Moran. Yeah, Alvin, you uh, kind of talked about how you're comfortable coming out of the slot. I guess how much do you really uh, emphasize, you know, working on, you know, catching the ball and, and whatnot, and just being available to get the ball in your hands any way they can give it to you? Uh, I mean, that's, that's I think, my, been my message since I got here, just do whatever I can to help the team win. So being in the slot, lining up out wide, whatever I got to do, you know, it's a lot, it's a lot of information, but it is what it is. You know, as many ways as I can get the ball, be a decoy, whatever, I mean, if it make the concept work, then shoot, it's, it, it is what it is. Next one's from Nick Underhill. Obviously, you guys would have rather had Mike out there for all these games, but is, is there possibly a silver lining that not having him there maybe forced other guys to step up and for everyone to become a little bit more comfortable and, and confident in what they're doing? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's, that's with any injury. I'm not even just talking about Mike. I mean, if anybody goes down, you know, it's like it's a heightened sense of, you know, awareness, it's like, man, I, I got to step up. And I think, you know, we got the type of team to where if somebody goes down, it's not really like a, a, a scramble or a mad dash to find who's next. You know, guys are preparing every day to be ready. Um, Mike went down, unfortunately, and guys stepped up and had to fill his spot. Um, you know, we, we, it is what it is. It's like the, our, our league is 100% injury rate. So it's not about if an injury is going to happen, it's when, you know. So we're prepared for that. I mean, it's something we prepare for. So it is what it is. Have you seen Traquan come into his own a little bit more maybe this year than he was before? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, it just comes with it just comes with experience. I think um, he's got more experience. Uh, he's feeling he's feeling good. He's he's more tuned into these concepts, alignments, assignments. It's like each year you get into the each year you you have in this league. It's like you you kind of like <laughs> knock off some some of the some of the little things. I mean. You know, when you're a young player, you're, you're worried about where you got to line up. You're worried about if, if you really know what you're doing on a play. But it's kind of like now he, he, he's coming into his own. He knows what to do. You know, it's just to go do it. All he has left is to do it. Next one's from Luke Johnson. Elvin, can you describe what you saw in that fourth down play last week? And, and uh, do you like it in those opportunities to, to take those, like, kind of shot plays downfield? Yeah, uh, shoot. I mean, we ran it all week. Sean was like, I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it. So when he called it, I knew. I'm like, well, it's, it's, 
it's probably gonna work. And you know, um, just we got we got the look we wanted, and Drew threw a perfect ball. You know, I just had, had to be where I in, in the right spot for Drew to be able to get that ball. And I mean, anytime you anytime we get to convert on fourth down, I think it's big because it's that's like some like that's probably the most annoying thing I think for a defense to deal with. Like you got a team fourth and whatever, fourth and one, fourth and three, fourth and fifteen, it don't matter. If you can't stop them on fourth down, it's like it's disheartening. So I like taking the wheel, you know. <laughs> you know, you know offensively it's been like really, really good on fourth down in the last couple of years, especially if it's something like two thirds of your fourth down conversions you're making. So is that is that just like uh, aggressiveness on Sean's part? What, what do you think that is? Yeah, I think it's Sean, you know, sometimes he gets in those modes, he's like, Man, I'm going for it, I don't care. And you know, we we like that. You know, I I, I think I'll I'll take us to go go for it on, on fourth down. I'll take us to get it, you know, if it's out of five times, I'll take us four out of five to get a fourth down conversion. You know, but I'll leave that up to Sean on, you know, it is what it is, it is on his part. Last one from Amy Jess. Yeah, uh, you talked about injuries a little bit earlier and one guy that's been playing a lot uh, the past couple of years is Nick Easton filling in for guys with injuries. How important has he been uh, to y'all's success? Man, Nick, I mean, tch, Nick is funny because his, his energy, like, you know, he, he, he got a, he got like this thing about him, like his, his energy is, is, is noticeable, very noticeable. You know, you could tell when he's in the huddle, you could tell, I mean, he's, He's annoying guys on the on the defense. I mean, he's always the ref is always telling them, "Hey, six two, you can't do that. You can't finish them like that or something." He's like, "Hey, he tried to do it to me." I'm like, "Nick, <laughs> relax." But I mean, he he just he brings that element to our that line of like you know just resiliency and toughness. I mean, he 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 goes and gets it. He does what he's asked to do, plus some. So um, just having him there is he's a, he's a great asset for our offense. All right, you're all set. Thanks, yep. AK. Cool.